Hello, everybody. It is April 13, 2024. Things are moving along as predicted. And L2024, you might be the only moderator in the house. That doesn't mean that you have to stay forever, but I just want to thank you. And don't leave GoFundMe links anymore. PayPal <laughs> would be nice. Thank you, Al. Thank you. So Jay Northrup and Oracle 11 and Lindy London and Donna Davidson and Blues Man, Sonny Fournier and Crystal Ingram and BMC, C, Sheepdog, Patriot, Laura Larson, and Michael Griffin and Moonlight Sonata and Julie C, James Brandenburg, Andrew Cruz, Alicia DeMoss, and Lindy London. Hi. Hello, everybody. And thank you for showing up. Um, not sure I'm going to be able to do a whole two hours tonight. It's really interesting what has happened to my life. I got some good news yesterday that alleviated some stress that I was experiencing. And that was all taken away today. The stress is really back. It's right in my stomach. The personal, so many of us are really having a hard time. And then add on what we're all going through. Yeah, life, huh? Michael Mossberg, Rick York and Jill W, Mark Anthony, Seth Trish, Analog Synth Player, B Dub, Pooch Palace, Kim Blanchard. Hi. Well, why don't we just take a look at uh, good old radar. It looks like California has really been pounded with an awful lot of wet stuff that, well, there it is. Hours and hours and hours. I'm watching this right here, mid-California, central California, on and on, and it ain't going any further east. It is being held, held in place. Look at how defined it is. Yes, we know. We know, we know, we know. And I'm afraid California is looking at more flooding. I don't know what's better, fire or flooding. Oh, man. Well, the fires that we now have, it's probably flooding because at least the home may still be there, right? As opposed to just a, night, a nice little neat pile of dust. I wish you could do something to help, Kim. I am Whew. all right here we go should we start with World War three ah maybe maybe boom sirens across Israel as Iran drones missiles arrive Explosions light up sky. Citizens warned to take cover. IDF full alert. USA supporting. Airspace closed throughout Middle East. Sky News Live. Tehran assault likely to unfold over a number of hours. It's Operation True Promise. True Promise. That's interesting. It's an unprecedented strike. Radical change from the use of proxies. <laughs> okay, don't you love it, man? I don't love it at all. Look, I have subscribers in Israel. 
And even though I haven't spoken to her in 40 years, probably. Robin, who was essentially a big sister to me growing up, and others that I know in Israel. And this is really, um, we knew it was gonna happen. I'm on the verge of tears and I can't stand it. We know that this could bring down the economy. We just have to wait until Monday, right? This could be the thing that brings down the economy. So it's, it's definitely nerve wracking when you don't have, you know, anyone at your back and you have nothing and you're like, um, They're bombing Syria, they're bombing Lib Lebanon, not Iran, but Israel. Houthis, Hezbollah, joint blitz. US-UK jets intercepting over Syria. Mideast enters perilous new phase. <sighs> and it raises the risk of a wider war. I think we're there, you know. Uh, the escalation has been happening. Israel has been bombing Syria, has been bombing Lebanon. You know, we have Yemen involved. We've got Iran now involved. We've got Lebanon and Syria, and not that they're attacking Israel, but Hezbollah is, I don't know if Syria is, is making, you know, any attempts to attack, but I, I really, it's just a wow. It's, it's a wow. And I hope to God, the way I see people, I'm pro-good, I'm anti-evil. I don't want anyone hurt. No one, but especially not my subscribers and especially not all of the Israelis that have been out on the street, tens of thousands of them out on the street, demanding a ceasefire, demanding the removal of Netanyahu. Syria is attacking Israel as we speak. Okay. So, yeah. Explosions light up sky. Citizens warn to take cover. And Iran posted this video. Is a mighty, has a mighty, mighty, mighty military. And it is my, and I am obviously not, and a uh, military strategic analyst. But I don't think Israel can win against Iran.
This is the U.S. and Israel pulling together the World War III that we will all suffer. We will all suffer. And if this is protracted, protracted I mean just even a couple of days, gas prices are going to go up. And what's happening in the Red Sea with the container ships and the cargo ships, Shortage, uh, shortages, everything is just going to skyrocket. Yeah. Live from Sky News. Ariya Ramesh speaking to me a little bit earlier. Okay, you can see the live shots there of southern Israel and... Not quite because I moved it back just a wee bit. And, uh, Tel Aviv. Let's also bring you some breaking news, a statement that we're getting from the Iranian foreign ministry. Let me read it to you. It says, Tehran will not hesitate to take further defensive measures to safeguard its legitimate interests against any military aggression. So this coming in from the Iranian foreign ministry, a statement saying Tehran will not hesitate to take further defensive measures to safeguard its legitimate interests against any military aggressions. Well, I'm joined now by Harley Littman from the American Israel Public Affairs Committee in New York to discuss uh, the developments uh, further. Uh, first of all, uh, sir, your reaction, please, to the statement uh, by the Iranian foreign ministry that I just read out, but just in general to the events of the past few hours. Well, what's quite remarkable is that there's always been a red line between Iran and Israel, that neither country directly attacks each other. That red line is gone, which means Iran... And who removed the red line? Who? It was Israel, by bombing the Iranian embassy in Syria. And, yeah, when someone bombs somebody's somebody else's embassy, that's like a declaration of war. Israel. What, and it, it's fascinating to me that when the U.S. and Israel attack other countries, and then if there's any retaliation, they claim that they're the victim, that they didn't start anything. I'm so sick of this. I am so... You know, it, it, I, I mean, I'm just really sick of this. I'm sick of this fucking life that we have to listen to this shit over and over and over again. And then you read the comments on the videos and you're like, are you flipping nuts? Okay. Yeah, I... I such a sick world. Is there any wisdom? Is there any intellect? You know, I mean... Iran could just attack Israel another time, even if they're stopping now, because it appears that this is the extent of their actions against Israel, that they're not going to do any more. That's the indications I'm hearing from the Iranian government. They, the, Iran does not want a war. What they want to do is punish Israel. Now, from Israel's perspective, this opens up an opportunity because since Israel was attacked and now there are no more red lines, Israel could attack Iran. And Israel did attack Iran by attacking their embassy. Enough of your shit-ass, stupid analysis. Iran's hypersonic missiles hitting Israel. Now, from what I have heard, Iran, and maybe things have changed, but Iran said that it was only going to target military bases in Israel. 
And this is a email that I got from one of my subscribers in Israel. This is the news I'm getting right now, and this was several hours ago, so for sure a whole lot more has happened. Attack alert, Israel real time, uh, drone launch, Iran, multiple sources state from U.S. officials, dozens of suicide drone launches from Iran headed towards Israel, five, uh, 50 to 100 plus drones, depending on report, um, continued launching maybe more drone launch from Yemen timing from Iran their hypersonic cruise missiles take 10 minutes cruise missiles one hour ballistic missiles four hours suicide drone six to nine hours that seems a little odd to me but maybe quite right I don't know the different types will be launched to arrive together on the way, they have to pass at least four defense systems, um, starting with warships, Patriot systems stationed in Saudi Arabia, Jordan, American bases in the Middle East, Israeli defense systems, and Israeli fighter jets, but expect to hear about additional launches from Syria and Yemen and Lebanon, El Al, Thailand flights returning to Thailand due to Jordan airspace closure, GPS jamming. Expect nationwide GPS jamming immediately. Airspace Yemen is closed. Uh, also, attack alert. Israel real time. This is where it, she's getting the information. Launches inbound. Israel targeted. Iran. Multiple waves of suicide drones inbound. Houthis. Conflicting reports of drone launched or cruise missile launches at Israel. Estimated arri uh, arrival from Iran, 2.30 a.m., 5 a.m. I don't know what time it is in Israel. Reports of interceptions over Syria by Israel. Israel airspace closes at 12.30 a.m. Any flights not arrived will be diverted. Flights leaving will be canceled or leave early, public sporting events canceled, um, home front, no school. Order includes universities, daycare, kindergartens, private daycare, uh, private kindergartens, special at all schools. No activities at community centers, some universities announcing moving to online learning. Um, I don't know, you, you know, you're in the middle of a war, you're being attacked, your bombs are dropping. But we'll do online learning. I, maybe not. Um, maybe their attention will be elsewhere. So maybe you are seeing stuff on the news there. We live in the north and apparently are not in a place they want to hit. Thank God. We heard that they want to hit Tel Aviv, Jerusalem, Beersheba. Just wanted to let you know. Thank you. Thank you. United States and British fighter jets are now scrambling, intercepting Iranian drones as the first wave of Iranian ballistic missiles expected to enter Israel airspace in roughly 15 minutes. And here we go, U.S. taxpayer dollars. U.S. taxpayer dollars. <laughs> Pretty shitty. <laughs> Sound effects coming from me, huh? Israel is dropping bombs on Syria's capital city of Damascus right now. Israel continues to bomb Syria, Lebanon, and Palestine at the same time with zero accountability, but has the gall to beg the U.S. and U.K. for help the second it faces retaliation from Iran. And it is heartbreaking to see this. And it's so, you know, it, it's 2024. Didn't you want the world to be a little bit better? We just go backwards and backwards, doing the same old, same old. And we expect different results. 
Israel continues dropping bombs on civilian homes in South Lebanon in the middle of the night. The USA should not be involved in any of this. <laughs> the, the USA and Israel are like this. USA is getting this. They are getting what they want. You know, it, it's... Who gave Iran $6 billion? So, Iran attacks Israel one day after Biden says, Don't. Don't you do it. The United States gave Hamas $50 million, I think, on October 8. October 8 gave Hamas $50 million. October 7, Hamas attacks Israel, and we gave $50 million to Hamas on October 8. Do you think maybe life is a false flag? Oh, I can't. I can't listen to this. Palestinians in the West Bank have begun tearing down Israel's apartheid war. <laughs> What do you expect when you keep a people down for so long, they have no life, they have no future, you subjugate them, you intimidate them, you imprison them, you kill them, you starve them, you, you, you subject them, subject them to the worst every single day. Israelis, you can't claim to be the victim. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's over. It's over. You had a lot of decades to play that. You can't play it anymore. United States and Israel. We're getting our due. We are getting our due. And will we see bombs dropping on our soil? We may very well. So, get ready for anything. With a heightened risk of attacks on Israeli territory, the regional security situation remains highly volatile and could escalate without notice. We have increased our risk level to avoid all travel to Israel and the West Bank. Canadians should consider leaving by commercial means. Melanie Jolie, Minister of Affairs, Foreign Affairs, Canada. You put that out yesterday? Yesterday at nearly 3 p.m. yesterday? You're right on it, aren't you? Well, these travel advisories, United States, Canada, Germany, other countries have said, do not go to Israel. But now the airspace, you can't even try to get into Israel. This is bad. And here, this is uh, travel.gc.canada. 
Israel, avoid all travel. Gaza Strip, avoid all travel. West Bank, avoid all travel. All right, well, better late than never. And good on this girl, this young woman. Oh, don't want to offend anyone. Attacking another country's embassy is grounds for war, bar none, doesn't matter who you are. If you didn't know better and you opened up the news app, you would think that Israel was bracing for an unprovoked attack from Iran. NPR's classic both sides what about ism to Fox's full-blown xenophobia, hide in your bunker, the evil terrorists are coming. And what they're leaving out is that on April 1st, an Israeli airstrike destroyed the Iranian consulate annex building adjacent to their embassy in Syria. And that was Israel's whole point. If they can force Iran to retaliate, then that forces the U.S. to get involved in the war more so than just funding it. White House sources say Biden is frustrated that he wasn't consulted on X, Y, and Z attack. I'm sorry. Crimea fucking river. They are emboldened in these actions, bombing Lebanon, bombing Syria, because you haven't put in any motion for accountability since the start of this. Iran is backed into a corner. If they get involved, then suddenly it's a war with America as well. If they don't, they're saying to the world, you can bomb our embassies, you can take out our top commanders in a foreign country with no repercussion. What would you do if you were Iran? But it seems, everything that she just said, it seems to be lost on an awful lot of people. Loyalty can be very dangerous when you're actually loyal to evil. When you never call it out, when you never try to write it, it's very dangerous. And, the, you know, the, the, the unbelievable, craven, it, it's, it's uh, so depraved what is happening with an awful lot of these IDF soldiers. What they are doing and that it gets out onto social media. That, I can't quite figure out outside of Israel and the United States wanting the world to hate them and they get so attacked and maybe the United Nations will eventually in this World War III after taking out so many countries after it destroys the economy, the world economy, after it literally, you know, uh, I mean, it goes on for years. The United Nations steps in as the one world government. They need to be the sole arbiter of peace. But we all know that this is really... Why, why is it so hard for adults to just consider that all of these governments and military work together? They're literally reshaping the world, destroying all of the ordinary people, the commoners. And you may not think that you're a commoner. Oh, but you are, Blanche. You are. They were surrounded by the Israeli military who eventually came in, soldiers, guns blazing. They were shooting everywhere, all of, you know, all over the, all the walls and spring. And when they finally came in, um, you know, they, they separated the men and women, as I just said. The men were all stripped and the women were packed into like this, uh, like it was almost a janitor's room. Like they were on top of each other, the women and children. And then for three nights, they they didn't they weren't given food or water and they could hear the men screaming through the night like they they were clearly torturing them and then on the third day the soldiers came and ordered the women to go south um with the children and all the women went except her she like she at this point she just had nothing to lose and she said i'm not leaving without my husband and 
they, she's quite young. I mean, they, they'd only been married for like a year. So she just started running between the two rooms trying to find him where the, where the men were. And they were all, you know, stripped and it was dark and she couldn't, you know, she couldn't see and she kept calling for him. And she eventually recognized him by his boxer shorts. Um, and she, you know, she started, she was hugging him and kissing him. And then she was alternating between like pleading with the soldiers and begging to, you know, begging them to let him go and then cursing at them and just attacking them. And eventually, I guess, I mean, they were kind of, they were laughing and, um, you know, calling her crazy. And they just kind of just, it was almost like an amusement thing. And, and eventually they, they were like, okay, fine. And they cut him loose. By the time they, they, they got, you know, somewhere safe, he showed her his back and it was carved uh, with the star of David. And then his uncle later showed um, his back was carved uh, with smiley faces on his shoulder. Like they were just carving pictures in people's skin. So disgusting. Yeah. And I saw somewhere like someone else posted a photo of uh, a man whose face was branded with the Star of David. You might have seen that one as well. It's so disgusting. And Israel always talks about anti-Semitism and weaponizes it and, you know, claims it's there when it's not there. But it's just so rich to see them. Yeah painting these religious symbols and turning them into... I think think Jewish people really need to uh, take back your religion. You guys are, are are in a fight that's pretty profound too. You know, Israel claims to speak for right. for Jews worldwide and they're weaponizing anti-Semitism. And, it, you know, they've convinced the world that this is the Jewish sphere. This is the Jewish uh, focal point in the world. And I think that's why organizations like Jewish Voice for Peace are so important. I've been saying this lately that I speak out on this because it's awful for people to use our names to justify genocide. And like, I don't want that to happen, right? So it's just a moral question for me. But there is also not, it's not as big of a a factor for me, but it's there. There is a self-interest that I want the world to know that Israel doesn't represent on Jews. Yeah. like, And they sure don't. And I just want to recommend once again, Katie Halper. I think the uh, Katie Halper, for sure, um, her channel with Aaron Maté, Useful Idiots. If you want to get uh, the, the truth of what is happening in Israel, these, these two are no holds bar. And guess what? They're Jews, okay? Also, um, Grey Zone, Max Blumenthal. So, um, I wasn't referring to the Golden Girls. <laughs> it's a movie with Betty Davis and Joan Crawford. I can't remember the name of the movie, but but you are a Blanche, but you are, and there's a slap in the face. Anyway. Um, no, they don't. Israel does not represent all Jews. And I have on this, on this channel, live streams, I don't know how many, I'll say countless only because I can't count. How many? That sounds like an enormous number. But I have shown how many Jews and Israelis want all of this to stop. And they don't. They're not Zionists. They're anti-Zionists. But it, it's just like Americans. There's, it's no different. It's no different. And unfortunately, there's just like a Oh, uh, maybe it was Baby Jane. Demarque. But, um, you know, you have a small percentage of the population that 
are desperate for the insanity, the violent insanity, to stop. Smaller percentage that actually hold accountable all of the lies. Americans are no different than the Israelis. They're all Jews. What does that mean? Please don't. They don't not, not, if you're going towards the it's all Jews thing, and I don't know if you are a rooster. I'm just saying I really don't appreciate it at all. Not at all. Whatever happened to Baby Jane? Okay. Well, I'm glad you listened to that. <laughs> yeah. I really could cry. I'm just so... Just... Yeah. Middle East crisis container ship hijacked near Strait of Hormuz amid soaring Iranian tensions and the, the strait was closed down. Got surprising intensity of Houthi attacks. Push French warship to exit Red Sea. Could you imagine the Middle Eastern countries band together and go after the Western countries. Sorry. But we will get our tuchises handed to us big time. Yeah, this French ship turned tail from the Red Sea after running out of missiles and munitions repelling attacks from the Yemeni armed forces we didn't necessarily expect this level of threat. There was an uninhibited violence that was quite surprising and very significant. The Yemenis do not hesitate to use drones that fly at water level to explode them on commercial ships and to fire ballistic missiles. Well, you know what? It's about time. We need to be stopped, especially the United States. We need to be stopped. And unfortunately, we will all pay the price. We're paying it. Macron first threatens Russia with troops, sending you know, troops to Ukraine, then purchases 600 million euros worth of gas from Moscow in the first three months. It's all staged. It's all a staged affair, right? The sanctions that we imposed on Russia, it's a joke. It's a flippin' joke. It hasn't hurt Russia. Russia's doing quite fine. Zelensky is lying about an upcoming counteroffensive out of desperation to receive more aid. <sighs> People still see this guy. I, I, I can't even utter the words like world leader to describe this guy. He's a clown. He's a clown who is put in this position to launder an awful lot of money and he got rich doing it. A whole lot of Ukrainians have paid the price. Russia now says it expects unconditional capitulation of Zelensky regime before peace. Even before peace. Get on your knees, Zelensky. Capitulate. Let's see if this is still live. Yes, it is. Southern Israel. Territory. Um, 
what does this actually mean for what could potentially happen next? And how braced are the US for further action? I, I think it depends on what happens tonight, what is the effect of tonight, and what takes place beyond this. You know, is this the last that we'll see of this much vaunted uh, Iranian retaliatory attack after the, the bombing of its uh, consulate in Damascus? If this is the end of it, if there is limited damage, then I think that affects the picture considerably. The United States uh, will bend over backwards to avoid an escalation of this, of this conflict. And that may mean reining in not only itself, but also doing its best effort to rein in Israel. It, I can, it can be guaranteed that that will have been part of the American effort thus far. They've had their top general in Israel over the past few days, and their key officials have been in contact. Their war cabinets will have been in contact tonight. They were meeting simultaneously. Um, and a large part of the, the US effort will have been to try to, to rein in the Israelis who have been talking tough, who have been talking in very aggressive terms about attacking those who would attack Israel, talking about a significant reaction tonight. The message from Biden, um, one imagines, will have been avoid escalation, do what you have to do, but do it in such a way that the conflict doesn't grow, that the theater of war does not widen beyond the current difficulties because the... What do you think? But how is this going to play out? Well, a war might very well cancel elections. What did Biden say? When he was only in office for like a month and they were asking him about 2024 campaigning, whether or not he was going to run again. And yeah, I, I, He's in office for a month, and then th this is a quote, well, everything stage. And what did he say? He said, we don't even know if there's going to be a Republican Party. Okay. So we have a rather exciting time here in the good old U.S. of A., right? Okay. My thoughts are with you, you guys in Israel. Look at this, 26 barges break loose in, in the Ohio River. <sighs> they just broke loose. They traveled uncontrollably down Ohio River. They broke loose in Pittsburgh, drifting in an uncontrolled manner down the river at 11.25 p.m. Friday, last night, 23 of the vessels were loaded with dry cargo such as coal, and three were empty. There were no injuries or pollution reported, but Peggy's Harbor saw extensive damage. Well, if they're floating uncontrollably, there would be damage. Eleven of the barges were pinned against the riverbank near Brunot Island. Fourteen drifted down the river. Six traveled over the Emsworth Dam. There was no word if the barges that went over the dam caused damage. We do seem to be having an awful lot of, ah, uh, damn it, dams breaking, collapsing, breaching. Best Buy to tap AI for customer service amid Geek Squad layoffs. Oh, AI, that AI, I hope you love it because it's going to be 
one hell of a powerhouse that will control it all. Boston Market? Really? It's reportedly in its final days. So what's happening? They had, at a near high of 1,000, Boston Market, a rotisserie chicken restaurant, um, led them all over. So now, there's only 30? Under 30. Well, another business down. Stabbing rampage at Sydney Mall leaves at least seven dead. A stabbing rampage. Okay. I'm sorry to say that we're going to see more and more of this. I think all of you know it. Buying votes. Biden cancels student debt for 277,000 borrowers. Wow. The dictator. This is not how our government works, but now, well, it's been working this way for increasingly, it was Obama, I can't tell you how many videos that I posted, how everybody in Congress, Democrats, Republicans, were literally bowing to Obama, allowing the Obama, and Obama himself, the Obama administration, usurp all of the powers of Congress. And I was like, how does that work? Uh, when you have power, you're in positions of power, you want to hold on to it. And it was willy-nilly, let's just let Obama do whatever the hell he wants to do. So this has been going on for a long time, okay? The executive order is dictatorial. So when you see Biden come out just a couple of days ago and say, well, I don't know, if I have the authority to write an executive order to restrain what's happening at the border, now again, all we need to do is enforce immigration law. Hey, how's about it? Americans, they, they're literally clueless about virtually everything. Exceptional. Can you cancel out my law school debt and just give me back my credit? Maybe. 20 women soccer players withdraw from league over transgender players. Good. Every, every female should be withdrawing from their teams if they're being hit with a transgender player. That's what should be happening. Drug shortages hit record high. 320, uh, 323. <laughs> oh, those numbers. Gotta love it. No, you don't. 323. Active shortages from chemotherapy to psych medications, yada, yada. I put the link in if you're on medications. Uh, you might want to check out this article and find out. Um, it's only going to get worse. Afghan migrant on terror list released by immigration judge and free to roam <laughs> the United States. You think we have... Uh, I don't know what is it called um law anymore do you think that anyone is protecting americans anymore Th those days are over okay um that means that everything that we're seeing now in terms of all of the violence and all of the crime it's only going to explode man on terror watch list released by the immigration judge Wow. Freed on bond. 
as he awaited an immigration hearing in Texas scheduled for 2025. There were no restrictions on his movement. Carwin was taken into custody. Well, if the American people don't come band together and do something about this, then you get, you get, well, unfortunately, I was going to say, you get what you don't do anything about. <laughs> but those who do do things about it, they get it too. So for all of those who just don't do anything about anything, thank you very much. Thanks. Because you swallowed up all of us. Pilot forgets his screen is set to chemtrail options. <laughs> I wonder why they have a chemtrail option there. All right, so a whole lot of demonstrations going on in Japan over this pandemic treaty. Uh, this is live, or actually semi-live. It'll take a couple minutes to upload it. Uh, but this is a, a large anti-pandemic treaty protest is gathering in Tokyo right now. I had to get back here to get a better photo because it's actually it's a pretty big crowd down there, but it's kind of hard to wade through. So they're going to do a march for several kilometers through Tokyo. And if my experience with marches is accurate, based on the way I'm looking at this one, that the uh, a lot of people will gather along the march. I've been in many of these in different countries, and so the, this is the, the core that it'll start with, but it'll grow as they march. And it grew. It was very big. Okay, so this professor says things that oh, YouTube doesn't like. So I'm just going to post the link in the chat. But I also want to post a link to, uh, where is it? A message from Japan to the world. It's only 8 minutes and 34 seconds. You know, if you can just do a couple of clicks, you could circulate that. But it's a powerful speech. And doesn't seem to want to play. Well, you got the link and try to play it. This is the pandemic was used as a I, 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 we know it. Okay. But he talks about the new products, you know, and an awful lot of information that everybody needs to know. How the Italian health minister is received by the public everywhere he goes. <laughs>
Screaming murderer, murderer, murderer. I have felt throughout my life that holding people accountable gets you deemed as you're the problem. What is wrong with Americans with this twisted way of viewing things? Viewing. Why is it that when you hold people accountable, you, they point the finger at you like you've done something wrong? Google will reduce some users' access to California news sites. Oh, it's just another fabulous way to censor information, but I will post the link. You can check it out. You know, you just get tired after a while. We know all of this stuff is going on, and we also know that it's like falling on deaf ears. Trump gives support to embattled Speaker Mike Johnson at the pivotal Mar-a-Lago meet. Yes, the two psychopathic murderers. Yay, Israel, kill all the Palestinians, get the job done. Yeah. Christian, Christian. And the hate crime law in Scotland, wow. So they arrest a 74-year-old woman? Oh, God. Um, I'm going to post the link to you, any of you uh, that want to watch the whole video. I'm just going to play a little bit of it. Where is it? But I'm on. And the topic this 10 minute moan has got to be one of the most ridiculous stories I've heard since the new hate bill, hate crime act, um, became law. This is a mad story that you probably no doubt already heard of. Morag Brown, woman in her 70s, being arrested under, apparently, under hate crime laws, although the police did contradict that later on. So I'm just going to use the Scottish Daily Express. Um, to give you most of the details on their story that they published today. And their headline is, Fears the SMP hate crime law has been exploited after pensioner arrested and carted off to a police station. Morag McDougall-Brown was left traumatised after being taken to Kilmarnock Police Station for questioning after she was falsely accused of directing a ableist slur, a nightmare neighbour who was attacking her rosebush. Now, the story goes, a Scottish M Tory MP, MSP, has warned that people are exploiting the new hate crime act after a pensioner was wrongly arrested on the word of a nightmare neighbour in Troon. Morag McDougall Brown, 74, says she and others in the street have endured years of abuse as a result of a bitter dispute. On Tuesday, the mild-mannered OAP says she spotted the woman damaging her rose bush in her back garden and took a photo out of her window on her mobile phone. Shortly afterwards, she was stunned to find two police officers at her front door at Harbour Road in the South Ayrshire seaside town. She was arrested and taken away in a police van for questioning at Kilmarnock Police Station, with the apologetic officers saying she would be put in handcuffs if she refused. I take it that's if she refused to go. Mrs Brown asked why she couldn't be interviewed in her own home and was told it was due to the new law that came in on April 1st. 
She also says she was not told that she was being arrested, what she was being arrested for until she arrived at the police station. At that stage, it became clear the neighbour had called the police and accused Mrs Brown of calling her a simple mongo, an offensive term for somebody with Down syndrome and therefore falling under one of the protected characteristics in the new hate crime act. However, Police Scotland have insisted Mrs Brown was arrested under Section 38 of the Criminal Justice and Licence in Scotland Act 2010, which relates to threatening or abusive behaviour. Speaking to the Scottish Express, Mrs Brown said, We've had 42 instances of antisocial behaviour involving this neighbour. So when the two police officers turned up at the door, I actually recognised them both. They said they were there, said that there's been an allegation. We can't tell you what it is, but you need to accompany us to the police station. They said that because of the new law that came in on April the 1st, I couldn't be questioned in my own home. That's interesting. They were very nice and agreed to go and wait for me in the van so I wouldn't look as if, as though I was being taken out of the house. Then I was driven through Troon in the back of a police van. I've never been in a police van in my life. I phoned my daughter and she arranged for me to get a lawyer. They were all very nice at the police station too, asking if I was okay, but they took my jewellery, switched off my phone and searched me. At that stage, I still didn't know what this was all about. I was asked if I had seen her in the garden and I said yes. She was throwing rubbish and trying to cut down my rosebush. I took a photograph, but I didn't speak to her at all. I haven't spoken to her in months. They said there's no charge, no criminal record, and you're free to go. My daughter was waiting outside, but I am still traumatised by the whole thing. This law is proving to be a disaster and should be scrapped. It was as if I was a criminal. It was just awful. If they'd questioned me at home, that would have been fine. I could have told the truth and said I hadn't used those words. I hadn't even spoken to her. Then we go on to some quotes from some MPs, etc. But I think... You gotta fight against it, Scots. You gotta fight against it. This too was sent by a subscriber. Same subscriber, thank you. Farcical, Scottish police given script defending Yousaf, the first minister of Scotland, over hate crime complaints. So, he received complaints but Police Scotland were given a script defending Youssef after he faced a barrage of hate crime reports under this controversial new law. The force issued a form of words for call center workers and officers to recite in response to complaints about a speech this guy gave, remember, white. Minister of Justice, white. It's, it's Scotland is a white country, okay? I hate when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after he gave to Holyrood, what is that in 2020? I don't know what that is. At the height of the Black Lives Movement, Youssef, who was Scotland's Justice Secretary at the time, said in, quote, 99%, unquote, of meetings he attends, he is the only non-white person, and highlighted that a series of high-profile figures in Scottish public life were white. Guess what? You're in a white country. That's what happens. Okay. So... The, the, uh, the guide, the script adds that when he had been referring to white people, he had been pointing out a matter of fact. So when people say that there are two biological sexes 
That is a matter of fact. Right? Right. The guide said, quote, there was no malice or ill will towards any person or group displayed in anything he said, and so it does not meet the threshold to be recorded as a non-crime hate incident, Scottish Tory Deputy Justice Spokesperson Sharon Dowie said. It's a measure of how farcical Yousef's hate crime law is that police officers have effectively been given a script on how to respond to the flood of complaints made against the First Minister under the very legislation that he piloted and introduced. It comes as police receive more than 7,000 complaints in the first week of this new legislation. Only 240 were rec recorded as hate crimes. And Police Scotland, a spokesperson, said, We have received a number of complaints in relation to a speech in the Scottish Parliament in uh, 2020. Quote, Earlier complaints regarding this matter were assessed at the time, and it was established no crime was committed and no further action was required. If it's a matter of fact, so, so is saying that you got a boy or a girl at birth. And transgender is just that. It's people claiming to be the opposite sex. Canada. It's interesting here. <laughs> Listen and see if you catch what is wrong with what he says. Trudeau has announced in the company of drunken Bill Blair, our Minister of National Defense, that Trudeau is changing the legislation that the Canadian Armed Forces can be civilly deployed. That's right, deployed against the civilians. I don't think I need to explain that. This would never fly in the States. You guys got it carved in stone down there. Good for It would never fly in the States, meaning the neighbor below. People haven't seen the military out on the streets deployed against the civilians. How is that even possible? Because this has been going on in the States for many, many, many years. Many years. So, for the Americans who listen to that and think, oh, well, we're, we're, we're not as bad as Canada, rethink that, please. For you. At a time such as this, this is Trudeau's response. Get the word out. I spent yeah. Trudeau has an But Canadians all everyone in Western countries I sure hope the adults can finally put aside their really rather insignificant issues with one another and can unite on the bigger issues that we are facing. Experts warn of risk of civil unrest in UK due to food shortages. Food shortages caused by extreme weather could lead to civil unrest. According to a new study, I don't, it's not that I don't like the mushy stuff. I like stuff that's real and genuine and yeah I'm a stickler because I think love is such a precious thing and it's a force that kind of captures you so I don't like the word just thrown about it's just me 
So, we've got a lot going on. We've got a whole lot going on. And uh, I sure hope that you're all ready for more that's going on. Um, <sighs> we had strong unity in the 50s because everybody was against the communists. We didn't have all of the very many issues that we now face. All of it engineered to get everybody going for their throats. Let's just see. Oh, I like this. <laughs> I love people like this. This is, it's just so wonderful. It is, uh, when you think about what life could have been, it really, let's just say we're really off the mark, but even if just most people, most people didn't lie, if we were actually brought up in this country, to not spew bullshit, but that we really valued life, that we really valued truth, that we valued trust. So much could have been different. Well. Iran just attacked Israel. Here's what's going to happen if the United States gets involved in this conflict. Our border has been wide open for three years. At least 8 million people have walked across our border in the last three years. Thousands of them are jihadists, actual terrorists that have formed cells here in the United States of America. And they are just waiting for us to get involved in a conflict on behalf of Israel, with Iran, with Jordan, with anyone that decides to back them. Once they do, we're gonna deal with a mass casualty terrorist attack on US soil. And that attack will be used to cancel the 2024 presidential election, to enlist probably half a million illegals into our military, many of which will have allegiance to different countries and obviously start World War III. That is what happens if we get involved between Israel and Iran. And it sounds like Biden wants to. And obviously we'll have a draft as well. Gen Z, you're gonna get what you asked for. You're gonna be fighting overseas. Our veterans will be declared active duty. The ones that are retired will be brought back in active duty. They'll be sent overseas. And if an election does take place, they probably will refuse to give power to Donald Trump. The United States of America is in one of the most precarious spots that we have been in in the last 200 years. We cannot get involved in this war between Iran and Israel. It will result in a mass casualty event on US soil. We will recruit half a million at least 
illegals into our military and it will result in World War III. I'd say he's got a good prediction right there. Yeah. We're not looking at a nice future, that's for sure. Let's see what else is on Twitter. Nunn gives a grave warning regarding the depopulation agenda and calls out the Pope as the spiritual leader of the evil globalists behind it all. I played this before. Ah, kind people helping out a mistreated dog. I know. This is very hard. Iran successfully targets Israel's Ramon or Ramen air base. And when you think about the air bases in Israel, the weapons are U.S. weapons. And what is your confidence <laughs> level in our military leaders? And that has been broadcast all over the world. How many leaders in the world are scared of the U.S. military now? Yeah. And just recently, one of them, I think it was this guy, said, he gave a speech about transgenders needed in the U.S. military. Ah, Synergy. I have been trying to post this 12-minute Synergy vid for literally two days. Finally did post. I've been trying to make the point that um, if you don't save biofield, we're in real trouble. I was sitting here kind of mapping out some thoughts. I'm just going to share it with the people that are nice to me. Okay, so if there is no biofield, we don't talk about this human anatomy. It stays controlled in surveillance. Okay, here's what happens. The same people that are in power now are going to stay in power because it doesn't matter who we swap out. We, the people, have zero knowledge, comprehension, or control, or access, or intellectual dialogue to the systems. So the same people maintain cybersecurity and control. And again, whether you believe it's Nephilim, AI, pie in the sky, pan, opticon, eye with the eye of Ra, or God, or providence, it don't matter. Somebody got control to it, they got a remote to it, and it ain't you. Same people who decide who thrives and survives due to resource allocation, you know, like burning down all the farms and taking away all the food and the car keys, okay? And they continue to push the politicians to make these dumb ass decisions that puts the rest of us back in derision with one another trying to figure out why they're so stupid, okay? So large underground computer systems remain under the same people's controls and thus their, whoever knows, pay for our right now, their software, AI, and hardware continues as it Laura Florison, yeah, I, I, I'm looking at some of your comments like that one. Yeah, you're whacked, okay? I do not like people sharing their opinions that degrade other people. I do not like it. It's a reflection of who you are. Certainly not who Synergy is. In forward deployed, that's the magic word. Z. 
the white papers, military detail documents, whatever. Forward deployed. You're going to do it. He's already did it. So, there's a chunk of human anatomy that every human has. And until they know that they do, they don't give a shit about what is or is not true. Because it doesn't affect them. They don't understand how it all goes together. Blah, blah, blah. Right? Watch this. Because that sign ain't done. Okay. So the eclipse goes by with a fart and a hope and a wish and a dream and nothing happens in the in-between. Now we're supposed to be focused on lawfare with the CIA, lawfare with AJ, Alex Jones, because he's going to go after the CIA. Lawfare with Marjorie Taylor Greene in regards to the spook who is fighting over their software and whether or not they're going to tell anybody how they do what they do when they do. And then lawfare between Rand Paul and Frouchy. But now we got to wait. We all have to wait until Trump gets in office or else all these politicians don't have, won't have the protection to make decisions, right? Okay, I'm mean, hey, I'm just going off of what it looks like, right? Okay, no discussion about the Jake and the AI being in control about 3,009 lethal autonomous weapons, zero. No discussion about the body part in which we've had no privacy inside our body. It's as ugly as some areas here. Inside the body is an area that everybody should have privacy. We do not since 1995. Why? Because you won't talk about 3009 or the Jake and now all resources after the eclipse that went off with a part and a hope and a dream are focused on lawfare of one kind or another. Meanwhile, you see all these check marks here on the side? I'm going to read this to you, okay? So I'm not sideways. All right. So the AT&T alleged breach leak of the, a couple weeks ago or whatever, because AT&T is a big chunk of the dark web by their data centers, so they hacked themselves. And then, I, but you could also say that it was passed around with lesser agents to make more trouble for other people. Blah blah blah. Because that does make work for other people higher than them, cybersecurity wise. Then October 7, 2023, and multiple Schumann related tests that you can watch with Stefan Burns, where he's like, I don't know what this is. Yeah, Pam databases, Russia. We'll talk about it later. Multiple Schumann related tests with them. Pam protocol databases with optogenetic networks. We'll be talking about it in two stacks down here on my little list. Multiple Schumann related tests to load balance National Science Foundation NEST NEST related. That would be your skiffs and electronic warfare in a safe, nice way to say it. Optogenetic and photonic networks that they'd be using with the geomancer and the geospatial with NASA. Or your NEST don't work in the first place. So anyways, then we have Scorpius and Zeus with MIRD, M-I-R-D, your people with the DOE and other places that actually do their jobs watching molecules. You know, if we get a chemical leak or a nuclear reactor leaks or whatever, they, along with your Department of Energy, your IRS, your FBI, your DHS, over on a GitHub, we had companies that were competing to create apps for Marburg and Ebola tracking, like the Cove W band. I showed the software. It's already out there on the interweb. I'm like, what the hell are you doing with this? Because some guy in 2022, the beginning, no, December 2021, he was in Ireland. He was doing research. And he's like, why are we even talking about Marburg? It hasn't been around in 100 years. He was in Ireland somewhere. So they kicked his door in and beat the shit out of him. Never heard from him again that I know of. Because there were already vaccines deployed, developed, and paid for. He's like, what the fuck is that for? We haven't seen the Marburg in 100 years, blah, blah, blah. Like, what? why are these vaccines already developed, paid for, sitting there in Ireland? I don't get it. Gone. So anyway, Scorpius and Zeus have their Ebola and Marburg specific apps on the GitHub in 2022 and 2023 for the IRS, the FBI, the DHS, and the DOE. CVS Walgreens mail ordering systems for drugs and mail order drugs and drugs of any kind have been hacked, smacked, screwed with, making it difficult. Always another outage, always another shortage. And then we have parts and supply lines borked all over the place. If you want to grow your own food, that's going to be illegal soon enough. And we're busy chasing down the Amish. Mm -hmm. UBI in 200 American cities for Agenda 2040 and C40 cities are urban planning. And then your electric vehicles, no parts or sales in cars were destroying everything as well. You can't even have a junkyard. But we're not talking about any of that because we need to stay focused on what they want us focused on, which all these things have already happened. All these things are happening. All these things that have little check marks that I just read out to you got shoved. And they always do because look over here. Okay, well, this is gone now. So now what? Lawfare, lawfare, lawfare. Just choose your flavor of lawfare. 
But whatever you do, we're not going to talk about what we've been doing since 1995. We are also not going to talk about this little list right here, which to most normie people that don't know nothing about the W banner are looking at going, these are a parabolem for the normal pay poll. Here we go. Inflation, poisonous air quality due to geoengineering. Crypto is the only safe currency. Hospitals are currently not able, they are not able to override their H7 specialized Cisco routing protocol backend software for electric health records. AI intensivist driven software. Sorry, but we don't get to push the buttons we want to because we've got AI in the way telling us what to do. So, most normal people would be like, well, the hospitals ain't safe and crypto's the only currency and they want to take the dollar away, blah, blah, blah. What the hell are they doing and why? What's the end game? <laughs> and I said, control downturn, but it got me thinking. I'm like, all right, okay, hang on. So, in the 1700s, y'all are back there going, yeah, we're going to turn on a different artificial intelligence, the John D. style that they were working on in the 1500s. When they sucked up not just the Leicester Gersha, but Chirinokian and rewrote the Hebrew the way they wanted to, and it got me thinking. I'm like, wait, so previous control server, this is conjecture, calm down out there. Previous control server for Solomon's seals, you mean his server, the metamaterials, because that's how it works. God's word is written on our heart. They manipulate all that. Dang, dang, dang. Okay. So they are rounding up arrays for controls. So the 4D beings we share our dimension with that we can't see, like we can't see the microwave and FM wave, but they're right there. Okay. The, so Solomon gets his temple together a long time ago, and he's like, I'm going to put your ass in that fucking array up there, and you're going to quit, or else I'm going to cock chain W-band blockchain your ass, and then you're going to go back up in that array up there. And I got a ring to do it from Archangel Michael, who came in from outside from God directly going, knock it off, or I'm going to put your ass in that array up there, store you on a hard drive. Okay. But we lost some of that. So John D. and whoever's going after it, right? Allegedly. Allegedly. So those beings that we share the dimension with would be forced to behave or suffer the similar blockchain benefits they are currently visiting upon us. Yeah. Yeah, they would. So then we have your 1700s with Amshel and your Shield people, right? And rearrange the money in the banking and start puppeting away. Yeah. And in the 1800s, we start unloading the DNA. Let's just get rid of it, mow it down, get rid of it. We don't care. We don't need it. We want to keep paring it down until we're at absolute minimum. Huh. Then... Simplify the arrays to prepare Starport gateways for new calibration, oscillation, and what you think is deportation, I think, is different storage. Because they do this and they turn it over. Okay. I'm going to post Synergy's... Um, channel on Odyssey and wow a lot of information about how we are being controlled a lot of information about how long all of this has been going on. And I will say this. I, my, Synergy, I'm going to say that no doubt for a lot of people, everything that you say is Greek. There are people at levels of int intellect that you need to strive to get to that level to really try to understand what it is that they're saying. And I, I would suggest synergy as a good exercise <laughs> for everybody to strive to understand what it is that she is saying. But essentially, you come away with is there any free will when we can be remotely controlled? Is there any free will? Do you know if you're being controlled? Because I don't think a lot of people understand that. And again, I will say that if you don't know who you are, 
God, you're so easily taken over. So easily taken over. The changes are subtle. And you might not even recognize them. Why do we have so many brainwashed people and this hive mind that seems kind of cemented in people's brains? Well, there are a number of reasons for that. But I would say electromagnetic frequencies has a lot, has a lot to do with that. But it's also a people that are so afraid of disapproval that they just go along to get along. Well, I don't want to offend anyone, so I'm never going to hold anybody accountable, and I'm never going to really speak my mind, because if I do, people aren't going to like me. That's a very immature, infantile mindset that a whole lot of people don't believe they actually have, but if you watch them, and you listen to them, you'll see how immature and infantile are an awful lot of our population. We're filled. Never grew up. Baby boomers never grew up. Some did, you know, but most just remained children. caring about themselves. That's a very childlike um, mentality. Don't we need to be better? Yeah, of course we do. Of course we do. We really need... Did I put synergies? Lincoln? I don't even remember. I must have. I highlighted it. So I'll put it in again. Um, it's in again. This has been going on for a lot longer than you could ever imagine. Uh, lavender. Okay. That's a video that I want to watch. The Lavender AI. Project Maven equals Lavender AI. Part one of two. Part two. The lavender, if you don't know what the lavender is, there's been a lot of press about lavender and the Israeli. The IDF using AI to target an awful lot of people. Lavender. AI. Yeah, they're, they're, the AI is supposed to be pulling out all of the Hamas soldiers. Well, didn't they target an awful lot of innocent Palestinians, children, pregnant women? There's also another AI program in use called The Gospel. <laughs> the Gospel. The Gospel targets buildings and structures. Lavender targets people. So wait until that AI is operating overhead with all of the drones and they decide to target you wrongly. Or rightly, you're targeted as a uh, domestic terrorist because of your thoughts. <laughs> That's funny to you, Anthony? Do you know that there are innocent Jews getting hammered? That's funny. Most folks have no clue what the biofield or bio electromagnetics even is 
So go over to Synergy's channel. I feel like, uh, yeah, it is funny to you. Well, that's a sickness. Something spiritually wrong. Something morally wrong. So, um, I can't do that right now, Mike. I, I go to my playlists on Never Lose Truth. I have several playlists on um, and I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> uh, my brain is really stress has done a number on my brain and oh I could have just gotten it by clicking on the link. Oh, all right. Um, so there are many, many, many ways in which the two-legged can be controlled. Where is it? Where is it? 5G microwave frequency. Wi-Fi. I think I also have... Uh, did I go to the playlist? I don't know. I'll put the link into the playlist. But... S, 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 the operational mind control system. Barry Trower on 5G. You uh, use, well, that's part, part one, teachable moment, mainstream media journalists, number of studies, effects of infras, infrasound, extremely low frequency, sonic weapons. Part two, use and myriad effects of mind control weapons. Um, modulated through extremely low frequencies, Hulu, quantum leap in electronic mind control manipulation, 1977 Russian study regarding biological effects of 5G millimeter wave. It is so not good. Uh, new tech, beaming voices directly into your head, the psycho -neurobi neurobiology and war, S-Squad, Silent mind control via radio, TV, smart dust, microwaves, uh, how artificial electromagnetic frequencies alter body functions, entrains your brain, symptoms. James Giordano, the brain is the battlefield. Microwave radar warfare expert, that's Barry Trower again. How about sea radar? and sonic weapons in use and hear how life is affected and humans controlled. 268 videos still left on this playlist. Um, much to my surprise. Supercomputer mind control. Your emotions, persona. Downloaded for complete control. From cell phone, blue light flickers, cell phones are directed energy weapons. They control your brain, nervous system. Uh, geoengineering and bioengineering, biological effects of radars, millimeter, 5G waves. Why radar pulses powerfully at night. U.S. mind control weapons in Iraq. Use of sonic weapons increasing symptoms may have collective idiocy, just one. 
psychotronic warfare against Americans has intensified. Smartphone weapon direct effect on your brain. Wow. Yes, I did do an awful lot of research and um, I know I'm now having problems with my brain and I'm not happy about it. Weaponizing Earth with green energy. DARPA advisor reveals conscious AI supercomputers. Use of mind control. Electronic warfare worse now than ever. And the beat goes on. Oh yeah, the beat goes on. Affect human relations. 1968 frequency chart, 5G absorbs oxygen, emits hydrogen cyanide. Sonic weapons attack. Sonic weapons attack. Anyone who puts Wi-Fi in school should be locked up for life. Use of microwaves to control minds. All right, so there are so many weapons that are that have been used against us, and it's unfortunate that there's an awful lot of people who pff, I just don't care. You know. So. Get out there, bring your best self to life, live honestly, speak honestly, mature, do the work to become a mature adult where you stop caring about what others, your social network is going to say about you. You speak the truth, you speak your mind. Don't let other people control you. That's a big problem as well. That's a big, big problem as well. So, yeah. If, uh, Well, I can't say that now, so I don't take for granted what you have. You're still in your familiar surroundings. You have a home. You're able to pay your bills. Even if it's tight, you have some family. Even if it's dysfunctional. There's an awful lot that sustains life that people don't even see and they take for granted. Now is the time to not take anything for granted and to really try to understand others, where they're at. So be safe and Pay attention to what's going on in the world. Because what's going on in the world will, if it hasn't already, eventually get to your doorstep. You do want to be prepared, for sure. And you certainly do want to help others in your community. Help others in your community. Yeah, pick up some extra food when you're shopping and drop it off at a food pantry. You pick up pet foods, drop it off at an animal shelter. You do what you can. If you can foster an animal, pet shelters are overwhelmed. All over the country, they are so overwhelmed now. So I... Don't screw other people.
And on that note, thank you for showing up. I hope I see you tomorrow night. And good night and good luck. Ciao, guys.